Hi, Nicole Young here with another quick tip on creating actions. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to integrate tools into your actions. Now I'm going to do this by creating an action to lighten his eyes. And then I'm going to want to do some masking after the action is played. So I want to use the brush tool with that. So I'm going to go ahead and start the action. I'm just going to create a new action, title it, lighten eyes and click record. All right, so I actually want to start this at the top layer. So I'm gonna hit option period. That's gonna bring it to the very top layer. Now I want to add a solid color and I just wanna add white. Click okay. I wanna select that mask and invert it. All right, so now I'm ready. I'm at the point where I want to tell my action. I'm gonna run this and then I want to paint with a brush. So I probably want to paint with white. So I'm gonna click D to get my background and foreground color as white and black. And you can see here it says reset swatches. So it's gonna do that for me every time. But my problem here is I'm already in the brush tool. If I were to click B to try and get to my brush or even click over here on the brushes, it's not doing anything in the actions panel because I actually need to be in a different tool in order for it to register in the action that I want to go to the brush. So I'm gonna stop this real temporarily. I'm just gonna to go to the hand tool. It's just a different tool. That's the only reason I'm going there. You can pick any tool you want. I'm going to continue to record this and then I'm gonna hit B. And then I'm gonna stop my action. So now, let me delete that. We'll just kind of start over like we were, like we just opened it. I'm gonna click play. And now I'm gonna paint. Now I obviously didn't finish the action. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go back in, start recording. I wanna change the blend mode. I'm just gonna change it to soft light. And then I can even change the opacity down if I want to. So now we have this, every time I run it, let me just start over and delete that. And now when I click play, it's gonna go through all the steps. And then at the very end, it's gonna be ready for me to start painting.